Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and today is gonna be about barrels. Imagine that you have the FX Wildcat Mark III and you have the 500 mm liner installed and you wish to change it with the 600 mm liner. You have some questions. What's the gain in velocity from a change like that? And is there any accuracy in the 600 mm liner? Those are the questions that I'll answer today. But before we get into the shooting, let's take a look at the barrels. So here we have the 600 mm liner and I'm only gonna show you this because they are actually quite similar. Uh, where they are not similar is of course the length of the barrel and on this one there's a carbon fiber housing and on this uh, 500 mm liner there's the standard uh, aluminium housing. They're both uh, equipped with the STX superior liner and they both have the carbon fiber barrel sleeve. They're also installed with the Huma dual hole transfer port like you see it here and by installing this it's much more easy to uh, gain the velocities that you want if you're shooting slugs for instance. But if you're considering to do this please remember that you have to modify your pellet probe uh, in the gun. If you're shooting a 22 or bigger caliber, it's no problem to find a pellet probe that's modified for this uh, transfer port. But in 177, I haven't been able to find it. But if you know somewhere to get it, please put a, a link to it in the comment section below. And uh, while you're at it, please uh, remember to like the video. But if you haven't been able to find the bigger pellet probes anywhere, you can just modify it like I've done. There's a bunch of videos out there, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Look them up and you'll see how it's done. It's pretty easy. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> but with that said, it's time to go into the testing. Now the gun's been set up with the 500mm liner and we're ready to shoot. I'm going to take like 10 shots to see what the average velocity is. So let's get cracking. It's actually pretty funny for me so sitting here uh, aiming and everything because I'm not aiming at anything. I'm not hitting anything because uh, with the crony attached to the barrel, you know, the velocity is like a complete joke. Oops, that's just me talking. But remember that when you're doing your your accuracy testing, you never should uh, attach your crony. Uh, it, it will affect the accuracy so much. Okay, that's 10 shots and uh, it looks like this. An average speed of uh, 879 feet per second. So let's change into the 600 millimeter liner to see what the gain is. Now the gun's been set up with the 600 millimeter liner. And before we start shooting, there's a few things that I want you to notice. One is that the gap here with the shroud is uh, way too big. And that's because this barrel has been taken from my Impact M3. On that gun, I installed a 700 millimeter liner and the 600 was just laying around. So I thought, why not attach it to the Wildcat? The next thing I want to uh, address is uh, the distance between the silencer and the filling gauge. When you have the 500 millimeter line on, there's just a little tiny room. But with here, of course, there's a little tiny room plus 10 centimeters because the barrel's longer. And what can you use this for? On the Wildcat, you can apply an additional plenum. So you actually get a power plenum. I'm not going to explain too much what the power plenum does because lots of people have done it before me and you, I bet you already know it. But just saying that installing the 600 millimeter liner allows you to get the room so you can install a power plenum. But with that said, let's go into the testing of the 600 millimeter liner. 956. 951. 951. 958. 
960. 946. 944. 956. Two more. 956. Last one. 960. Okay. So that was an average of uh, 954. So that's 75 feet per second in uh, gain if you switch from the 500 to the 600 millimeter liner. The settings on the gun are exactly the same. I haven't changed anything. Uh, I have the red gauge at uh, about 118 can be a difficult uh, a bit difficult to see and i have the hammer at seven i don't know what the the preload on the hammer spring is but those are the settings on my gun now with that established let's take a look at the accuracy uh, i did a test on 75 meters or 82 yards the other day and this is how it went for now, I'll be testing it, uh, as I said, here at uh, 75 meters or 82 yards, so let's see how it goes. I think that's pretty good. There was one that uh, that got away, like completely away. That's why I shot uh, one more. Uh, but uh, let's go down and uh, and check it out. Not too bad. But uh, yeah, let's see uh, what the groups look looks like. <coughs> there. That's not bad. Of course, there's, uh, there's one that got away down there. I don't know what, what really happened there. But anyway, a group like this uh, at uh, 75 meters, um, that's good. Uh, is there potential for, for a better group? I definitely think there is. Uh, I haven't uh, done uh, any fine tuning. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So that concludes our final test of the 500 and then 600 millimeter barrel in the FX Wildcat Mark III. So the conclusion is a 75 feet per second gain uh, just with the change and nothing changed on the settings. That brings me to, uh, to the question, is this uh, barrel change just a hunt for uh, more velocity? No, it is not. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Gain in velocity is not necessarily what you're looking for, but you're looking for the right velocity. The right velocity might be higher than what you for instance can get uh, with the normal transfer port so you need to do the changes uh, f with the dual hole transfer port from from humor to actually gain those uh, velocities but because i can get velocities i mean if i just uh, crank up the regulator and uh, and the hammer full out i might uh, be able to get velocities at uh, 1500 or, or no not 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 that much but um, maybe close to 1100 but that's not what i'm looking for i'm looking for the right velocity and for me as you can see the accuracy test the right velocity was uh, just around uh, 950 i think for, uh, at the test uh, it was 970 feet per second so this is what uh, i'm looking for and 
getting a different transfer port and a longer barrel, that's the tools that helps me get there. So I guess that sums it up for today's test. So if you like it, please uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, until next time, take care and uh, shoot safe.